Hey guys, it's Amber and welcome to December Daily Day 8. I am so excited to share my ideas with you today and I'm actually really um, surprised. I can't believe it's already the 8th and how far into the project we are and that I've actually been keeping up with it. It's the 9th and I'm working on day 8 already and I'm really, really pleased. I hadn't expected to be keeping up with it. My original plan was to just take pictures in the month and work on it in January like I did last year, but I'm really enjoying making these process videos for you guys. So for today, uh, I'm going to be working on the back of day eight, which had two four by sixes. And my story is my boyfriend's kids were over for the weekend and it was like a chill, relaxing day. We didn't really do much, but we did watch the new Claws movie on Netflix. So I'm going to be including a photo of that. And here's my chipboard. And we also watched the newer uh, animated Grinch movie. The kids had already seen it last year. I never got a chance to see it, but it's on Netflix or Hulu or something. So I was able to watch that. So I printed out some stills from those that I found online. One of the tricks I always use is to look for high res photos so that they come out pretty well. And then I have quite a few three by four photos here of just our time spent around the house. We, did, we baked some cookies. And so what I'm thinking about doing is using the 3x4 4 pocket page protector to include some of these. And my idea is to pull out some of these blues because both of these have quite a bit of blue in them. Um, I found this die cut from the set and I think what I'm going to do is cut it into a hexagon shape like I did with the last foil die cut in like, I think it was like my day one video. Um, so I have some blue here. This is a Jasmine Jones card. I have a couple ver uh, copies of it. I love it so much. It's beautiful. But it was really close in blue to this. And it kind of fit my theme since we're, we've got pictures near the tree. And then I found this old card from like 2017, maybe 2016 or 2015 from Allie Edwards. It says the best thing about December. And then when I journal, I'm going to put is watching Christmas movies, snuggling on the couch, you know, by the twinkling lights, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is probably put my chipboard number over here and I have a trans a vellum cut uh, die cut that I made for a template of that hexagon shape that's been so popular that I've been using for a lot of the layouts. This way I can see where the design will fit so I'll trace this with a pencil and then I can trim it out and because it's just slightly to the right so this way I can make sure that it's where I want it to be. So those are going to be there on that side. And on the other side, I thought I would feature some photos of us. Um, I had done some baking, like I made cinnamon rolls for breakfast. We made sugar cookies in the evening. And then on the back of that hexagon shape, which will be here, I'm thinking about including one of these awesome pleather die cuts because it's a great tan color that goes pretty well uh, with my photos. I have this Elle's Studio journaling card. I flipped through several. I found actually a couple that I thought would work, but I really liked the way the green was all on one side. I felt it balanced it out because there was a lot of green in this photo and just gives me some journaling room. I'm considering looking for like a chipboard piece or a puffy sticker or um, maybe even a stamp that could fit up in this space here. So I'm going to look through my supplies for that and then I will get started on my process. So I'm going to pop you on fast forward and you'll be able to see as I get everything put together and we'll see how it turns out. All right guys, so I'm going to start out working on this page by just sliding everything into the pockets. I have a lot of three by four photos for this layout as you saw in my intro. So I'm just getting everything organized the way I had envisioned it and kind of priorly laid it out, you know, to get everything ready. And I must say also, uh, this is the first time I've ever done the three or the white borders on any of my photos, and I'm really enjoying the way that they are looking this year. So I think this will be a new thing that I do. So I'm just backing my four by six photo to my cards from day seven's layout. Just trimming off a little bit of the extra that was overlapping there because the white was really sticking out noticeably from the edge of the red card. And this here is one of the tricks I like to do to include two three by fours on the back of one four by six. That way you're not constrained by the pocket page protectors that you're using. So I'm just attaching my 
filler card from Jasmine Jones there on the left and then my photo on the right. And for now, I'm just sliding it back into the pocket. I'll go back in later and add my embellishments to it. And then here I'm taking my, I believe these are about a three inch die cut from the die cut add-ons with Allie Edwards. And I'm, I have a uh, vellum hexagon that I had cut out and I'm using that so that I can see through to the design to make it a lot easier to see if it will one work for you know what I'm trying to do and this way I can trace around it and cut it into the shape that I've been using for this whole album and I'm, I'm really loving these hexagons they would have been so cool if they had been made this way but I love that there's the option to do round or you know you could do a square or a rectangle or whatever you wanted so it's kind of fun to have a little bit of an option so super easy to, to trim the hexagons too because it's all straight lines, so it's nice and fast. So I'm just erasing some pencil marks there. And I was just checking the shape, I think, because one of the sides must have looked a little wonky. So here I pulled out my December card from, like I said, I believe it's either 2015 or 2016, December Daily Cards, adding some journaling with my slick writer pen and then I'm doing the journaling for the back of my layout as well skipping through that a little bit and then right now I've jumped to working on the back I'm using a puffy sticker from Ellie's studio that says merry moments I wanted just something with a little pop of red that made sense there because there's a lot of green and tan going on in the photo and on the cards and then I have this little joy chipboard piece from Paisley Press's kit. I believe it's either last year or the year before. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just peeling off the layers and then attaching it to the center of that card. I was playing around a little bit with deciding where exactly I wanted to put it. If I wanted to like go, you know, center or cover part of the green area. And I just ended up going centered. It looked most balanced to me that way in the middle of the white space. And you might be able to, you might have noticed I'm wearing my Harry, Harry Potter uh, pajamas while I'm working on this layout. I uh, was definitely comfortable while I was working on these. They were new ones I was trying on. So you can see little bits and pieces of my arms there in the, in the screen, which is making me laugh. Um, so here I was just playing with trying to see if there was any other embellishments I could add. Like puffy, those gold puffy stars or something from the Merry Days collection. And I do end up adding this little Mary heart to the number eight. And I liked it because like the heart reminds me of the Grinch with his heart grows two sizes and everything. But it also just added a little bit of something to that number eight and card so it wasn't so plain. I originally wanted to put something up in the upper left hand corner next to the Grinch in the photo, but I just couldn't find anything that didn't feel too crowded or forced. So that little Mary heart worked perfect. So I'm just leaving you with some final shots here of the layouts, and I wanted to say thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Bye.